So now we have Julie, who's going to talk about something slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> slightly. 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 No roller coasters. Oh, maybe. All roller coasters. <coughs> All roller coasters. OK. Yeah. My research is a roller coaster. It's a bit of a strange journey that I've taken over the past 10 years since I first arrived here at this university as a student. What I'm going to tell you about today is what I find is the my most interesting part of my research at the University of Nottingham about um, adapting rides, adapting roller coasters. So, on we go. So this is what I'm going to talk about in the next half an hour, 35 minutes or so. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to introduce um, the Thrill Laboratory, um, which is the virtual organisation under which I work. Um, and the aim of the Thrill Laboratory is to develop adaptive user experiences, uh, specifically adaptive rides. And with this development process brings a large and uh, wide variety of technical challenges. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what those challenges are and how as computer scientists we're working to overcome some of those challenges. So what, this, what my research focuses on is the area of biosensing, I'll introduce that to you, and specifically for the purpose of discriminating how people are feeling about a given context, a given situation. And in order to test out our hypotheses about the effectiveness of biosensing, we put people on roller coasters, which is a very controllable yet extreme circumstance. And I look, what my personal research focuses on, is the computational techniques involved in processing and analysing data generated from our experiments. So that's the computation of thrill. And I'm also going to talk about parallel and future research that, that goes alongside what it is I do personally. So currently, I'm a lecturer in computer science. I have four PhD students and 100 geeks. But I wasn't always that way. Oh, yeah. It's probably the same. You're right, I know. Yeah. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I started off <coughs> at Leeds Uni as a pharmacology student in the Worsley Building, cutting up rats and extracting their bladders. But while I was doing that, I was thinking, do I actually want to be doing this? I think I'd much rather have a compiler that I was playing with. I think I'd much rather do something in software development because I could actually program where I was absolutely ham-fisted in the lab. Could I, just, I was just rubbish. So throughout my time here, I moved gradually from the life sciences to computer science, which kind of puts me in quite a unique position, given there's a lot of computer science which has an intersection between computer science and biology. So my PhD is in the development of artificial immune systems, looking at how the human body responds to various different contexts, and encapsulating that behaviour as a computational paradigm and then applying it to various different things. Originally, I applied it to computer security, so developing immune systems to, develop, uh, to detect computer viruses. And that's a large, difficult, real-time problem. But I was a bit bored with all the geeks, really. All the smelly Unix guys it weren't really my thing. So I decided to move to something a bit fresher, a bit more exciting, something in line with what I, I like to do myself, which is looking for, well, I was looking for a really complex, real-time, difficult problem which I found challenging and found enjoyable. And I performed my research as part of, um, uh, I think it's about 45 of us in the Intelligent Modelling and Analysis Research Group in the School of Computer Science at the University of Nottingham. So that's me. So now my research that I'm going to talk to you about today is conducted um, with the assistance of a virtual organisation called the Thrill Laboratory. And as an organisation, we encompass two research groups within my school. Um, myself in intelligent modelling and analysis, which is like data mining and intelligent technique development. And also the mixed reality lab. And those guys look at a lot of different aspects of pervasive computing, ubiquitous computing, and also how people interact with computers and technology. We also work with designers who design roller coasters. And we also have a couple of industrial partners, namely Alton Towers in Staffordshire, who let us ride their roller coasters from dawn till dusk. <laughs> and a really, really interesting and up and coming roller coaster design company called RoboCoaster, who have managed to successfully integrate robotic arms onto roller coaster tracks. Just they have no idea really 
how they want to adapt these roller coasters. And that's where we come in. So our aim as the Thrill Laboratory is to produce adaptive theme park attractions which adapt based on how somebody feels about the experience of the attraction. And this is achieved through the discrimination of emotional states. How someone's feeling about an experience adapts that experience based on their specific needs at that time. And how we achieve this is through using technology called biosensing in order to monitor explicitly how people are feeling about or how people perceive a particular event, correlating and using that information in order to give them the most thrilling thing that, that, that they are requiring at the time based on their physiology.